Hello everyone. Today I will discuss about gene mutations. So without any delay, let's start the video. First of all, let's discuss that what you will get after this video. So in this video, you will know about that what is a mutation, then what are the gene mutations, then the types of gene mutation. After that, you will know about the causes and the effects of gene mutations. So first of all, before directly going into gene mutation, it should be clear to us that what is a mutation? So mutation, you can simply say mutation is nothing else, but it's just a change in DNA sequence or maybe in the chromosome. So if there is a change in DNA sequence, so that is known as the gene mutations. Now, what are gene mutations? So as I told, the gene mutations are the changes in the sequence of DNA and that changes they just alter the or they just change the function of gene. So that condition is known as the gene mutations. So simply gene mutations are the changes in the DNA sequence that affect the function of gene. Now the gene mutation, you can say the types of gene mutations or classification of gene mutations. So the gene mutation is basically of two types. First point mutations, then second frame shift mutations. Now the point mutations, they are further off five types that is insertion, deletion, inversion, duplication and substitution. While this substitution is again of two subtypes, transition and transversion. And on the basis of the effect on protein, so these point mutations can further classified as silent mutations, nonsense mutations and missense mutations while these frame shift mutations are of two types that is insertion frame shift mutations or deletion frame shift mutations. So this is the classification or you can say the types of gene mutations. Now all these mutations will be clear to you in the further slide in a very animated way. So first point mutations. So what are point mutations? So point mutations are the you can say these are the changes in the single base of the DNA like from this animation it will be clear to you so this is the original the dna sequence where this a t c g and so on they represent the basis that is a for adenine t for thymine c for cytosine and g for guanine so this is the original dna molecule and in case of point mutation there will be change in the single base pair as you can see here if there is a change in single base pair for example here in the these red bars they represent the change so if the change at the that is guanine nucleotide so you can say here this is the point mutation because change is just at the one base pair of the dna so these are the point mutations where the changes are just only in the single base of dna now as i told the dna these point mutations are that uh, they may be the insertion deletion types so now discuss all these types one by one so first insertion so here as the name indicate insertion means there will be the insertion of one or more bases in the gene sequence like here this is the original gene sequence you can say without any mutation but in case of insertional mutation what will happen there will be insertion of a base one or two base between these sequences like for example, this is the cytosine base and in case of insertion mutation, this cytosine will insert itself into the original sequence like you can see. So as this cytosine is now added to the original sequence, so now the original sequence is changed into the mutated sequence. So now you can say that this is the insertion mutation. Now next type of the point mutation was that is deletion. So here again name indicate deletion means there is a deletion of one or more base pair from the original gene sequence like this is the original sequence and in case of deletion so you can say there is a deletion of one or more base so here like for example this adenine is now deleted from this sequence and this the gap is now filled by the another basis so now you can clearly see from the original dna molecule or gene sequence this is the molecule after the deletion is shorter because the one base pair has been deleted from this sequence so this is known as the deletion mutation or deletion point mutations the next inversion here again the name indicate 
inversion. So in this case, the you can say the some sequence of gene is just inverted and insert back into the original sequence. So it will be more clear by this animation. So this is again the original sequence. And in case of insertion mutation, what will happen that the some portion of this sequence will you can say will deleted like this and it will revert back or you can say it will inverted first it will inverted then revert back into the sequence so first it will inverted like this so as it will invert so now you can see that the sequence has been changed so now this inverted sequence is again inserted back into the original sequence like this so this is the inversion mutation when the some sequence of a gene within a gene just get inverted and reinserted into the original sequence so that is known as inversion now next duplication again the name indicate duplication means when one or more base pair they get duplicated they repeat so like here this is the original sequence and in case of the duplication what will happen one or more base will repeat itself like here for example this guanine so you can clearly compare from the original sequence that here this guanine molecule which is under this red circle so it shows a duplication so this is the duplication point mutation now substitution the next type of point mutation is substitution so here as the name indicates substitute so here the some bases they are replaced by other bases like here again this original sequence and in case of substitution the bases will be replaced by other bases like here you can see this base that is CGT bases they are here replaced by another basis and which are TAC so this is the substitution where the some bases replaced by the other bases and now types of substitution point mutation so as I told the substitution point mutations are two types that is transition and transversion so first transition so transition is nothing else when purine is replaced by purines like here adenine replaced by guanine or vice versa that is guanine may be replaced by adenine so when purine replaced with purine that is known as transition and similarly when pyrimidine replaced by other pyrimidine like here cytosine replaced by thymidine or vice versa thymidine may be replaced by cytosine so these are known as transition substitution point mutations while in case of transversion there is a conversion between purine and pyrimidine means when the purine is replaced by pyrimidine like here adenine replaced by cytosine or vice versa that is cytosine replaced by adenine is known as transversion and similarly that is guanine replaced by thymidine or thymidine replaced by guanine is also known as transversion so these two are the further subtypes of substitution point mutations now the types of point mutation on the basis of effect on protein that how these mutation they affect the product of the gene that is protein so here as I told these are of three types on the basis of effect on the protein first the silent mutation then missense mutation and then nonsense mutations so let's discuss them one by one first silent mutation so here the name suggests silent means there is no change in the uh, you can say the protein so these mutations that is when after the mutation new codon has been generated but there is no change in the amino acid so this will be clear by this animation like here this is the wild type dna means the dna without any mutation so it will make the normal rna because there is no mutation so rna will be normal and this rna will now code for the proteins so here the amino acid coded by these codon like first three agc they code for the serine then gua code for valine then triple c code for proline and uac code for the tyrosine so this will be the amino acid sequence in case of the normal dna but what happens in case of silent mutations so you can see when there will be silent mutation so you can see now here this adenine is now replaced by the thymidine you can clearly see here this thymidine is in the red bar so this is the silent mutation because here the adenine is replaced by the thymidine so this wild type dna now you can say it is now the mutated dna because mutation is there so after the mutation the rna you can say the rna will be mutated because the codon now be changed so as the codon is changed so the amino acid sequence will be 
this serine, valine, proline and tyrosine. So now you can clearly see that codone has been changed. Like if you see here, so this codone GUU as compared to normal codone GUA in the mutated RNA, the codone has been changed to GUU due to the silent rotation but the amino acid sequence is not changed as you can clearly see the amino acid sequence is same as like here serine valine proline tyrosine and similarly here serine valine proline tyrosine so there is no change in the amino acid sequence so this is the silent mutation because when there is a mutation there is a change in codone but it will not code for any other amino acid or you can say there is no change in the amino acid sequence so that mutation is the silent mutation now missense mutations so missense means when there is a change in DNA and that will change the amino acid also so here again this is the normal DNA which will code for the normal RNA and the amino acid sequence will be like this serine valine proline and tyrosine so these uh, these are the amino acid which will be coded by these codons but in case of the missense mutations here again the missense mutation here this adenine as you can clearly see here this adenine is now changed so this is the mutated dna so it will code for the mutated rna and again you can see there is a you can say the codon has been changed here this a so you can see the codon is now this changed and if you see the amino acid sequence so it is clearly seen that now the as compared to original one this new amino acid will be there this is threonine as you can see in case of the normal dna the amino acid coded by the normal dna is serine valine proline and tyrosine but in case of missense mutated dna new amino acid has been uh, you can say formed which is the threonine as you can clearly see so this is the missense mutation because whenever there is a change in dna and that will result in the change in amino acid also so that mutation is known as missense mutation now next nonsense mutations so nonsense mutation is that mutation in which there is a insertion of stop codone within the you can say the dna sequence and as a result there will be the termination of protein synthesis as again this is the normal dna which will code for the normal rna and there will be the amino acid which will be coded by these codons so what happened in the case of nonsense mutations so here as as i told the insertion of new base result in the formation of stop codon so as you can clearly see this change here this g is you can say the change from t the base has been changed to g so due to this change now you can see this change will also reflect in the rna so here as compared to c in the normal rna there will be g and if you look at uh, look into the amino acid sequence so you can clearly see that all of the amino acid same but the last amino acid that is this uag it will code for the stop codon and this stop codon will ultimately result in the termination or you can say the stoppage of protein synthesis so this is the nonsense mutation when the change in base result in the creation of stop codon and which ultimately stop the protein synthesis and this stoppage of protein synthesis ultimately will give ill effect to the individual who have this mutation now the next broad type of gene mutations are the frame shift mutations so here from the name you can guess frame shift so due to these mutations, the complete frame of amino acid or you can say the complete frame of codone has been shifted to another frame and this may be due to the deletion or insertion of one or more bases in the gene sequence so here again the normal dna code for the normal rna and then the amino acid will be same like serine valine proline and tyrosine but what happened in case of the frame shift mutation if there is deletion that is frame shift deletion mutation so you can now see for example this ta portion has been deleted now after the deletion of this thymidine and adenine base pair so this dna is now you can say it is a mutated dna so as after the ta deletion so rna will also be mutated and there will be the change in so you can say the codon or you can say the frame of codon so here it will code for the new another amino acid as you can clearly see as compared to the normal 
वन इन केस ऑफ म्यूटेटेड डीएनए द न्यू अमीनो एसिड आर देयर दैट इज एलानिन ल्यूसिन एंड ल्यूसिन सो यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट कंप्लीट फ्रेम ऑफ द अमीनो एसिड हैज बीन शिफ्ट और यू कैन से हैज बीन चेंज्ड सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज नोन एज द फ्रेम शिफ्ट म्यूटेशंस एंड इट मे बी ड्यू टू डिलीशन और ड्यू टू इंसर्शन नाउ व्हाट आर द कॉजेस ऑफ जीन म्यूटेशंस सो जीन म्यूटेशंस मे बी ड्यू टू that is when the dna fails to copy accurately what it means that during replication when dna copy itself so if there is any error during the replication or you can say the wrong base pair may be inserted during the replication and they uh, they will not get corrected by any other means so they will create the mutations so the one of the you can the major cause of the gene mutation that is the dna when fail to uh, replicate properly the second that is external influences which include environmental effector like uh, radioactivity high temperature and so other external influences that may changes the gene sequences and that may cause the gene mutations now effects of gene mutations so gene mutations may have beneficial or harmful effect so in case of beneficial effect uh, effects like some mutations they they make the bacteria to resistance against certain antibiotics so if bacteria is routinely exposed to a specific antibiotic so after some time it become resistance to the antibiotic so that is beneficial for the bacteria so these are the uh, beneficial mutation while harmful mutations so some mutations they may cause some genetic disorders because they are causing the effect in the gene so that effect or that change in the gene may be responsible for the genetic disorders like for example cystic fibrosis is a disease which is caused by the uh, gene mutation similarly the cancer is a disease which also due to the gene mutations because after the gene mutation the cell may lose the effect to control the cell cycle so that's why it may develop the cell may develop the cancer so these are the some effects that is the beneficial or harmful effects so this is all about the gene mutations its types and its causes and benefits so hope you like the video so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much